Hi, uh, Plastic People. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of things sent over by Big G Tech for inclusion in the Trident build. These were sent free of charge. No money has changed hands. This is not for a review. This is just uh, for me to include and showcase in my build. I did tell them I would do the unboxing. So uh, that's what this video will be, is just to unbox. And then as we get to the places where these are required in the build, which will be the tool head, uh, then I'll include them, bring it up again. That Yes, they did send these over for me to include and to showcase. So let's go ahead and start. First up will be the uh, Nomi. This is the little screen that goes inside the uh, tool head, uh, the, inside the stealth burner. So here is the stealth burner that I've got printed out for the uh, Trident build and the little retention clip that goes behind it. So the Nomi just can, comes in this little case. I like these little plastic cases because I can reuse them for any number of things. Uh, the whole package, this and the other piece was in here, which is the uh, Big Tree Tech uh, EBB SB2240 CAN bus board for the tool head. They came in a bubble wrap package. I didn't know what they were, so I kind of had to take them out of that just to find out. So let's look at this one first trying to keep the glare off and uh, just opens up. You've got the Nomi, uh, nothing really there. A uh, little piece of foam, big tree tech sticker. Uh, just a sheet that uh, talks about what the Nomi is. If it will focus. Uh, saying it's a 1.28 inch screen with a five to 24 volt operating and then the screen itself, just a tiny little thing, and then the power cable uh, and some nice uh, thick foam. And then the screen itself will, of course, go right in here. Uh, <laughs> if I can get it in there. Oh slide the bottom in first it looks like and maybe my tolerances are a little too tight uh, I'll mess with that more I guess when we get to it uh, it does have a USB-C port so you can uh, flat fir flash firmware and such power jack for the included power cable and that will run inside here uh, and then across and then up to your tool headboard, which will be about here. So that should work out good. There is that little clip. This little clip goes on behind the screen to hold it in. And then your fan sits where it normally would here. Uh, there are extra vents that they've added on this uh, 3D part so it can keep pulling the air in from the sides. Uh, here is the page for it, and I think it was on this one. They show, uh, I don't really have a way to test it, but they do show that it doesn't lose any airflow. You can see in that picture there how it kind of sits in with the EBB board. And then they show here that it's pulling air in from around the sides uh, rather than just the front. Uh, again, I'm not going to have any way to test and make sure that the airflow is correct and that it's not losing any. Uh, as long as it's the same, the primary thing I'll be printing on this particular board is going, or on this printer is going to be ABS. Uh, so the cooling isn't going to be quite as important. The next video coming up will be on a kit that will be printing primarily PLA. So that one's going to be more important for the cooling. And then here's my overhead, a larger one. For some reason this camera looks really dark. 
Uh, and uh, that does seem to fit in there okay. Uh, just not sliding in perfectly. I'll just have to figure out how. Oh, there we go. Now it's in there. So get the other one and see how it kind of fits in there. And then this will clip in to hold it. I'm not going to put it in right now because I've still got to run that power cable uh, and take the screen protector off and clean it off. Uh, that will show different things, animations, primarily used for showing your hot end temp, your bed temp, various things that you'll need throughout a print. can show you when the print's done uh, and such. If we go back to here, uh, try not to go too fast. You can see here, print complete, print progress, start printing, ready to print, it's leveling, tells you it's warming up and in standby. So it gives you some uh, information at a glance by just looking at your tool head my screens go into sleep, so you can't see it on the touch screens. Uh, so that'll be nice to see. It might be a really nice functional thing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's a cool, cool little thing and gives you some nice stuff. This page here is their documentation, and it actually shows you how you can customize some of these uh, images so you can change them over to what you want I don't know if I will mess with doing that I think that I'll probably be fine with the uh, stock ones but uh, you, you know make it yours if, if, if that's what you're looking for so that's that's great that they have included that kind of a feature to let you do that kind of thing that that's a really good good way to go about that all right, so let's move on to the EBB, uh, what is this, a 22, SB2240 CAN board, and a uh, nice box, the nice black silky box that you get with most of your big tree tech stuff. Open it up, first thing that I notice that the other EBBs don't come with is a CAN cable. I blew up a CAN board because I had it wired incorrectly. So having a cable that's uh, ready to go, your power 24 volt uh, in red and black and your can high low there and then your end that plugs into the board itself. And it looks to be plenty of uh, cable there, especially for a 250 build. Gotta have your rubber ducky. Cannot have an EBB or a Big Tree Tech without the rubber ducky. Uh, just a little thank you card for picking up one of their devices. A couple of cable ties. And looks like a couple of stickers. Big Tree Tech and a clipper. Your normal Big Tree Tech sticker and an empty box now so two of those new stickers bag with your terminations so uh, all your crimps your uh, JSTNs ferrules color-coded ferrules at that some more screws and your uh, Microfits for the board that goes on the back of the tool head here. And then, of course, your crimps to go on, the, on everything. And then your boards are in here. And this is the two-piece board. So you have the main can board. And then you have the fan board that uh, this will go in here. That will provide the power for your hot end fan, your cooling fan, and also for the uh, Nomi display. They all get powered off of this. Uh, take this out of here. So 
So I believe this goes in like that. And using those two screw holes. And then this will plug into your into the main board that's already on the tool head. You've got fans here. Uh, this has can high, can low, ground, and 5 volt. Uh, I think that's where your Nomi plugs in, just using the, the 5 volt and ground. This is also fan. I see a tack. Uh, so that'll go in like that and give you those pieces and make this whole piece basically modular so you can just slip it off. You don't have to worry about cables running back to the head or, or anything that can come off on its own for maintenance and then we have the board and it comes of course with these extra tiny jst connections i do not remember the type the the name of those but they'll be lots of fun and then here is our can board usb-c for flashing uh, i'll have to double check to see there's that CAN connection for this cable here. Uh, so that'll go in that way. And that'll give you your power and your CAN high and low. And then your buttons for boot and whatnot. Here is your connection that slides into this board. So that whole thing will sit in there like that and give you your can give you your fans and everything else uh, it's going to be real fun doing all these tiny little connections uh, I think I uh, can't read it I think these are fan voltages here because you can adjust fan voltage per fan that way if you've got a 5 volt cooling fan for your hot end but a 24 volt part cooling fan you can adjust them individually I believe this is the motor uh, for your extruder I believe this is your hot end uh, heater and I'm not sure where all the rest is I'll have to go through the manual get it flashed and get it uh, ready to go when uh, we get to that point in the build. Uh, the build will be continuing on Monday. This should go up Sunday night. So the build will continue Monday. Uh, I'll have, uh, I'm gonna try to get the, get it posted Sunday night so that uh, people are aware of it instead of just popping online and seeing it there. But that is all we've got for now, uh, gonna try Sunday night to do the unboxing on the Fabrico Rook kit. Got a few other things to take care of before I can get into that, but uh, that is that I am planning on doing. Uh, Sunday night is getting that Rook kit unboxed uh, in a quick stream, probably 20, 30 minutes, and we'll see how well uh, Fabrico put that kit together. And I've also got the uh, filament that I'm going to be using for it. And you can see that that's right here. So the filament, uh, still a surprise. I haven't even seen the actual color of the filament yet. I know what it is. I saw the picture on the box when the box got here. But I know that the pictures on the boxes aren't always identical. They're just somewhat representative. So look forward to that. Uh, I'll get that up. I'll get the... Uh, video for Monday uh, scheduled and posted so that we can uh, get a little bit better viewership hopefully during the stream and everybody have a great day and thanks for watching